Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. Kindly make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also make sure that you register with Excel Academy. In today's class, I'm just simply going to explain my part 4 of histology revision. Please make sure that you subscribe. Let's quickly look at our first question. We have been given this beautiful slide. In this slide, we have been asked to identify the slide. So if you look at this slide, this slide is the slide of the sensory ganglion. So this slide is the slide of the sensory ganglion. Okay, so if you want, you can write sensory ganglion or you can just simply write trigeminal ganglion trigeminal ganglion yeah which is also the name in case you want to be specific all right the reason why we are talking we are saying that this is a sensory ganglion or the trigeminal ganglion is that you can see some neural bodies with some neural bodies here and also these neural bodies have dark stained cytoplasm which is just containing the nasal substance i'll explain more when we discuss in part six of our tutorial video the next question is give two reasons for your answer so the first reason you can give is um the the presence the presence the presence of the presence of pseudo unipolar ganglion cells the presence of pseudo unipolar the presence of pseudo unipolar ganglion cells okay the presence of uh, pseudo unipolar ganglion cells and these cells have the cytoplasm which contains the what <clears throat> the cytoplasm which contains the what the the presence of the nasal substance okay so presence of nasal substance so you can also give that reasons and another reason you can also talk about the the satellite cells you can also talk about the the satellite cells so if you observe this slide has some dark spotted cells like that one that one and also that one all these dark stains are dark small dark stained um cells are just the satellite cells so this is more reasons we are saying this is a trigeminal ganglion or a sensory ganglion let's quickly move on uh, identify the slide so this slide is just an elastic fiber this is just an elastic fiber so if you look at this elastic fiber they are moving in a wave like motion and then there are few there are few cells in them and if you observe very much you can understand that this slide is likely to be that of the iota or the vena cover so give to region where this slide uh slide could have been gotten so you can talk about the artery you can talk about the walls of the artery you can also talk about you can also talk about the 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 veins you can also talk about the veins all right let's quickly move on and look at the next slide this slide is a very important slide and let's quickly look at the question identify the slide so if you look at this slide there are some uh, dark spotted myelin uh, myelin parts which have been stained black and you can also see some axons so this guy can just be a sciatic nerve so this guy is just a sciatic nerve okay i'll go much in details in one of our histology revision which should be revision number nine the next one is give two reasons for your answer give two reasons for your answer so the first reasons which you are expected um uh to give is the myelin fibers myelin fibers myelin fibers stained black 
myelins fibers then black with ozimic acid with ozimic acid remember ozimic acid is used to identify the myelin fibers in the nerves and then you can also talk about the presence of the axon the presence presence of axons the presence of axons which are enclosed in the neurilemo sheath enclosed enclosed in the neurilemo sheath neurilemo sheath neurilemo sheath i hope my spelling is okay but this is a very important uh, point you need to take note of all right let me quickly go to the next slide this slide is also another important slide you need to take note of and the question is identify the part labeled a so if you look at this part they're just simply talking about this region so that's just a simple cuboidal epithelium simple cuboidal epithelium and this is likely to be that uh, to be that of a kidney so this simple cuboidal epithelium okay simple cuboidal epithelium the next one is state the location of this slide so this is just coming from the kidney and specifically we can talk about the renal tubes in case you want to be that specific okay let's quickly move on and look at the next one wow i love this slide this slide is a very important slide which everyone is supposed to take note of identify the heart the the slide <clears throat> when you talk of this slide this is just the heart this is just the heart of maroli yeah this is just the heart uh, you can say this is a cardiac muscle because there is that region and also that region, okay? So, when you talk of that, give two reasons for your answer. So, the first reasons you can give is presence of cardiac muscles, cardiac muscles, presence of cardiac muscles with with intercalated disc with intercalated discs okay collated discs okay and then the other thing you can give is this structure which is just the package fiber presence of package fiber presence of the package fibers which is which is a very important structure that we are supposed to know and this structure is responsible for the conducting system of the heart in terms of each heartbeat and for us to have that heartbeat it's because of this package fibers all right let me quickly move on um the next slide is this slide let's quickly look at what's the question identify the slide so if you look at this slide this slide is coming from the buccal cavity and since it's coming from the buccal cavity you can just say this is a simple squamous epithelium this is just a simple squamous epithelium we know it's coming from the buccal cavity so you can just say buccal cavity in case of um, anything just maybe your lecturer would want you to say the buccal cavity instead of the epithelium the next one is this slide is likely to be that of yeah that's the buccal cavity or in the mouth buccal cavity or in the mouth okay or mouth so take note that um quickly just identify the slide but i also need to make some labels and these labels would normally be explained in the next revision classes because the reason we have made these videos are just for easy identification and reasoning and also some hints to know okay all right guys let's quickly look at this 
slide which is a very important slide for all of us the next the question is identify the slide so when you talk of the slide this is just the palentine tonsil this is just the palentine tonsil and it is playing a role in the lymphatic system of a human being so palentine tonsil give two reasons for your answer the first answer we can give is the presence of the the presence of the tonsil clips the presence of the tonsil clips and also the presence of the lymphatic node and also the geminal center so you can talk of presence presence of one you can talk about the the lymphatic nodules lymphatic nodules okay you can talk about that you can also talk about the presence the presence of the geminal center the presence of the geminal center so please make sure that you make uh, your research on what's the function of the geminal center and also some uh, presence of presence of the the tonsillar clips the tonsillar clips tonsillar clips so um if you look at my explanation right now i'm just identifying in this video but in the other videos i'll be asked to label some sections of this slide so please make sure that you subscribe to this youtube channel make sure that you also click on the notification button and you receive all the videos thank you very much guys and have a blessed if blessed day and make sure that you register with excel academy by contacting me on those numbers whether on whatsapp or a direct call thank you have a blessed day